Okay, so I've seen a few reviews online of iMovie 09 and they're all pretty um, basic. Um, also, Apple have got their tutorials online, which are very useful um, and very helpful for understanding the features. I've just been using this tool for the last few days and I think it's absolutely fantastic. I never used, uh, really used iMovie 6 HD. Um, I did use iMovie 08 and that was okay. That was, um, as we all know, um, fairly basic with some of the facilities it offered. Um, but I've been using iMovie 09 to create some of my last few videos and um, I just love some of the features and I wanted to show a few of the ones which may not be quite so obvious. Okay, so the first thing to note is that in iMovie Preferences I've enabled the advanced tools here and you can see that that affects what tools appear on the toolbar and also affects um, some of the additional features like the cutaways, picture in picture that we'll look at later on. So I've got a new project I've already created um, and I've got a bunch of clips I took in the snow this week. Um, by the way, these were taken from a car but the, um, the camera was fixed on the dashboard. So just a few things. So I've, um, I've already just grabbed a small clip here and one of the nice things you can do in iMovie 09 is if you just click on the, you can see the bit which I've actually imported, it's got this red underlining. If you click on that red underline, it will just actually select that um, clip in the event browser. You can also obviously just drag and select as much uh, as you want to import as well. You can just add that up to the top. Um, the red squiggly lines on this clip here show that I've, add, I've applied um, the image stabilization to it. Now one of the things about image stabilization is that it takes a really, really long time to apply. So I've got a whole 1 minute 36 clip here and if I select the whole thing then select that I want to analyze it for stabilization it's going to come up and it's going to tell me that it wants about half an hour to analyze. I don't want to wait half an hour so it's going to cancel that. One thing you can do is in the clip adjustments editor you can say smooth clip motion and then it will analyze just the little piece that you've, you've cut out for um, stabilization. So this is only going to take a couple of minutes to, to analyze, which uh, is a bit better. Again, I don't actually want to do this. I'm just going to cancel that. I just wanted to show that that's one way of reducing the time for stabilization, just to apply stabilization to the segments that you actually pull into your project. That seems to be a bit, a bit faster. The other thing I've already done with this clip I go into the clip adjustments is I've already analyzed it for speed adjustment because the other thing if I add one add a, add a piece of film from a clip which I haven't analyzed for speed adjustment let's drag this up here then if I go into clip adjustments we'll find that it says I have to convert the entire clip first it's one of those really annoying things to me is that Apple have actually got a typo here because they've put an apostrophe in it which just bothers me a little bit um, it's, it's a tiny, tiny thing I know, but it's just one of those things that I always notice. So if I want to actually adjust the speed of the clip, I have to click the Convert Entire Clip, um, the Convert Entire Clip button, and that will actually convert the entire clip in the from the event browser. Again, I'm not going to bother with that here, but I've already, because I already did that on this first clip, um, and the second clip I've just imported here is part of the same clip in the event browser. That also has the ability for me now to apply a speed adjustment. Now you can apply a speed adjustment um, using the slider and that will actually make this run faster to 200 or I can go all the way up to 800 or something silly. Um, and that will go past fast. Um, but I can also do much more fine grained down here so I can say actually I'd like it to run at 76% of its speed. Slower. So you don't have to use the slider, that slider just locks you to sections. Um, and as we know we can also do reverse, which we particularly care about. And we've got the different video effects which we can apply in real time. Um, actually that's quite an interesting one. 
the dream one is quite interesting on a snowy scene, isn't it? So let's just apply that and say OK. If you do actually adjust the speed of a clip, incidentally, let's just uh, let's just actually make this one say run at seventy percent of the speed, and then say done. And then when you hover over it, you get a little um, you get a little icon to show whether it's been slowed down or speeded up. So this one's been slowed down. And then you can double click that and it'll bring up directly you into the clip adjustments editor, which is nice. Okay, so one of the other really nice things I like is if I select a clip and then I can actually detach the audio from that clip. So the audio then comes out of the clip and I can edit it separately. So I can shorten the audio for that clip. So I can say, okay, well, I don't, I don't actually want audio until one second in. Or I can delete the audio altogether. So that's now made, instead of having to go and actually reduce the volume of the audio, which um, I would have had to do uh, in iMovie 08, I believe, I would have had to go into audio adjustments and say reduce the volume to nothing. This has effectively done the same thing. I've detached the audio and I've deleted the audio. Now this is really nice because one of the things I've used this for, on one of the other things I've uploaded onto YouTube, is I, if I went through every single clip in my uh, project, detach the audio, just cut the audio to the little snippets of, um, of speech that I wanted to incorporate and then I overlaid an mp3 file across the whole um, video and then I could just fade in the speech segments that I wanted which I found really really nice so I, I like to at the moment I'm approaching this by going in and every time detaching the audio from every clip just so that I can edit it separately Okay, so that's just some, some basics.